Hi everybody. Well, I had so much fun last week when I posted that video about the Funny Girl program and my love of Funny Girl. I was thinking about things that have inspired me through my life. Since we all have a lot of time at home now and are going through things and we have different feelings about how things are going, it was kind of fun to revisit what really inspired me. I saw this challenge on Facebook also where you'd find the 10 albums that influenced you the most and I was thinking about that and then I thought, but you don't say why. I thought that was kind of odd. So I was thinking about what has inspired me the most in my life and I'd like to share with you my most prized possession um, because I have a lot of different collections, but this one really inspired me through my life. It was um, found by mistake, actually. I'll tell you the story. I was eight years old. I went down to my grandmother's basement. I'm not really even sure why. I don't know what I was looking for. Um, I saw this box with these record albums and a trickle of water going toward it. And I don't know, I moved the box and saved it. And this was the first album I saw. And I had no idea who they were or what it was about or anything, but there was something within me. And I, you know, I don't like to get all... Um, godlike, but it was a God moment where for an eight year old to also find this album and then take it and cherish it and um, create really a life for myself because of it. And it taught me a lot. So I'll share with you what it was. It was the original, so the Supremes at the Copa album, uh, the original. This is from 1965, their uh, historic appearance at the Copacabana. It was from uh, recorded live, and it was the first time that a Motown group played the Copacabana. And the Supremes, uh, as you all know, went on to become one of the greatest girl groups of all time. Uh, that's Diana Ross, Mary Wilson, and Florence Ballard on the cover. And what was so cool to me about the album, and what's still really cool, is when I looked at it, I saw that this Motown was where I was from, Detroit, Michigan. And I thought, wow, they're from Detroit, just like I'm from Detroit. And I would listen to the album, and I, um, as a kid, I memorized it so well. I would do, I'd take a hairbrush or whatever, and uh, I would do every number, like I learned every number to the album. But what I did was it fueled a fascination for me about who this group was. And I became a lifelong Supremes fan. Now I do love, um, I love the story of the Supremes. Three girls working together, becoming this international famous singing group who traveled the world. It fueled for me that there were other places you could move on in your life and see different things. So the inspiration for me was I found every uh, original Supremes album, I think a week later, in that box, I found the Supreme seeing Holland Dozier Holland. And I read everything I could about the Supremes. And I was just fascinated that I knew exactly where the places in Detroit were. Here, I'll show you the back too. And it's um, the Detroit sound right there. And I was so amazed by it. I just thought, wow, if you work hard and you believe in your dreams, you can achieve anything. And what better inspiration is that? So I wanted to share with you my most prized possession, uh, the Supremes at the Copa. Still my one of my favorite albums, although I don't play it right now. I save it. Um, I've kept it all these years with me. This is the original copy I found. This is the one I found in my grandmother's basement, along with every... I then started my collection. I have every original Supremes album. I, I should show you, too. I'll, maybe next video, I'll show you. I have a couple of programs uh, of the original Supremes uh, in concert. One uh, as the Supremes, and then, of course, when they became Diana Ross and the Supremes. Uh, but that's my most prized possession. The Supremes at the Copa inspired me. It inspired me to see the world. I, I'll tell you a quick story. I remember when I was in Paris for the first time and I saw the Eiffel Tower and I sat at a cafe. I thought, wow, I remember looking at this in a book and seeing the Supremes there and all the great Motown artists. And now I'm here. So believing in yourself, believe in your dreams. That's what inspired me. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe, be healthy, and thanks. I hope you enjoyed the story. And let me know, by the way, in the comments, what album inspired you the most and why? Or what inspired you the most and why? Uh, it could be a book, TV show, movie, um, moment. Just let me know. I'd like to read those. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.